So should you get the new iPad Pro in 2019? Well, in this video, I'll be doing a quick review of what's new, what I like about it, what I use it for, what I don't like, and I recommend if you should buy one or not. So let's go ahead and hit that intro. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on health, fitness, and tech to improve your life. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So the new iPad Pro, what's new about it? Well, I will say the first thing is the screen size. And the reason being is because now the bezels are less so it's actually, I have the 11 inch. It's the same size as 2017's 10.5 inch, but now the bezels around the screen are a lot thinner, so now you get a lot more screen space. So that also leads to the screen itself. It is the liquid retina display, which honestly just means that it's just fancier and it has a lot more clarity. The colors are a lot more vibrant and it is just a nicer screen. The look and feel is also a little bit different. It's a little bit more modern, and I think a little bit more futuristic looking. I have the space gray version, and I, I really love the look and feel. Very, It's like thin, but also solid at the same time. It also has the new face ID function, so now instead of using your finger, there's no button on the, the front of the device, it's just the camera, so you can actually use the front-facing camera to unlock your iPad. It also has a few different features like gestures and multitasking. You can have up to three apps open at the same time, and you can just navigate it a lot different, like there's a dock now at the bottom of the screen that you can swipe up and access your most recently used apps, or the apps that you like to use the most. And it also now has the new charger of the USB-C, which is starting to become a little bit more popular now. Um, um, starting to become a little bit more mainstream. No more lightning connectors, so if you have any old lightning connectors, it's not gonna work in here. And then on the back has a 12 megapixel camera, shoots 4K video, very clear, and I think it's like an eight megapixel front-facing camera. So very, very, they went all in on this device. And to be honest with you, I love this thing. This is like probably my favorite purchase of 2018. Like by far, I wouldn't return it. It's super small, it's powerful, it's fast, it's great for on-the-go usage. Like love this thing. Now, I use it for a couple things. The first main thing that I use it for is just taking notes. I have the keyboard case uh, from Apple and I use it to take notes. In fact, for this video itself, I used it to take the notes for this video. And what's funny is I actually kind of use it like a director where I'll, when I'm making videos, I'm like, okay, whoo, whoo, this is the new topic. Great thing about the notes feature is that when you type notes on your iPad, it actually sends it over on the iCloud so I can have it on the iPhone. So I'll use like, you know, jot down ideas, thoughts, taking notes at like a conference or something like that. Very, very useful. Now the second thing I use it for is editing photos and videos on the go for social media, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, just like short, quick videos. The third main thing I use it for is actually client work. So with my clients in the Body Confidence Academy, we have weekly check-in calls. So basically what I'll do is I'll take notes on here so I can see their progress, you know, how much weight they're losing, what they're eating, how much they're working out, and just taking notes on different goals that they may have. And then of course I use it for the normal media usage, YouTube, Netflix, streaming basketball and football games, that are on, it's like very clear, it's like having like a mini TV in front of me, and it's very useful, I can kick back on the couch and just good, prop it up on my knees and I'm good to go. All right guys, it is now time to announce the winner of the AirPods second generation. Just to go ahead and show you that I am very fair about this. It is out of 187 names, I looked at everybody who commented, and also a subscriber to the channel. And if you did those two things, you are in this list, so I'm excited about it. So we are gonna do a random name generator. I'm just gonna click it, and whoever wins, that's the person who wins, all right? So let's go ahead and do it. Suspense, drum roll, please. Start now. Yes, so Steven Cho, you are the winner of the AirPods second generation. Go ahead and message me at Noah C. Banks on Instagram or just you know tag me in the comment of this video and I'll make sure to reach out to you, get your address so we can send these to you. Now, if you didn't win, don't be upset just yet because I wanna show you guys one more thing. So remember, don't leave just yet. I wanna show you one more thing. So you guys were so amazing that you guys got me to 2,000 subscribers. So I thought about it and I was like, well, if I'm at 2,000 subscribers, does that mean I should probably do two giveaways? So that is right, I will be giving away a second pair of AirPods, the second generation, when I come back from Spain in two weeks, so probably around May 4th, May 5th. May 5th is my birthday, so I'll probably give it around that time. Um, this is probably gonna be the last giveaway for a little bit until my next milestone, which I'm thinking is gonna be 5,000 subscribers. I'll probably do another giveaway, but I will be doing a 
Like I said, a giveaway for the AirPods second generation again. Go ahead and check the link in the, co the pinned comment below. That's got to give you all the details. And you also follow those. But the main thing is comment below what type of piece of tech do you want me to review next? Which piece of tech you're like, hey, I really wondered about this one that you would want me to do a honest review about. Um, I want to make sure I'm just putting out the right videos for you guys. Okay, whether it's cameras, phones headphones, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the iPad review. And then finally, I use that for reading. So I use my Kindle app. I also have a few of my study books on here for my certifications that I had. It's like reading a normal book, basically. You could just swipe, 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 and be good. Now, there are a few things I don't really like about the iPad Pro. Really, the main thing is that it's just not a full replacement for a computer. I know a lot of people have been asking that. No, it's not a full replacement. And the reason why I say that it is powerful, but the OS is still something as of a tablet itself. This doesn't have a file system. Like I said, this is still under a tablet, so there's no desktop that you have. You can't have different folders, and what I really, really wish that they could do is you can't plug in like a USB or hard drive and put like different documents on here. The only thing you can really transfer by plugging in is photos and videos. But I think those would be my really only qualms about it. Now, I only have two accessories for the device, um, and that is the keyboard case from Apple and then the Apple Pencil 2. Basically, the case looks like this. It's magnetic which is pretty interesting and then clips on like so. So it's just like that and that's how I usually kind of like type and you could swipe. So it kind of gives you like a computer feel but it's not really a full computer. And then of course the Apple Pencil again attaches magnetically. You probably see the commercial where they go like this just like that and it's uh, pretty cool but I would say that I think I just kind of got a little trigger happy and bought this because I was like oh let me buy the whole set but I don't really use it too much I might use it to write notes sometimes but I would really recommend if you are like an artist or you love to draw or stuff like that then I would get it if I were you but other than that save you like your 170 bucks now do I recommend you buy this in 2019 so I would say buy it if you have like one of the older, older iPads. Like I upgraded from the iPad Air, which was like four or five years ago, back when I was like working at T-Mobile. And it was getting slow, it couldn't update, it couldn't do any of the multitasking. So that's why I upgraded. Or let's say that you are like an on-the-go creator, artist, or you like to work on like some Microsoft Office files, like PowerPoint or Excel or something like that, then say, yeah, yeah, like I would get it. But again, it's not a full replacement for your computer. So if that's what you're looking for, this is not it. But if you're looking for a, kind of like a nice companion, I would say this works perfectly for that. Now, if you just wanna use it for a media device, like watching like YouTube videos, social media, and uh, you know web browsing, I would save your money and just buy like the 2018 iPad or get the um, iPad mini, or if you want to, the 2017 iP iPad Pro is probably discounted as well. So you can't go wrong with that, but if you're just doing media usage, don't think it's just gonna be an expensive TV for you. So yeah, that is a quick wrap up about the iPad Pro and if you should get one in 2019, let me know below. Are you interested in getting an iPad Pro? Do you have one? What do you like? What do you don't like? Let me know in the comment box below. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll catch y'all later. You already know, embrace the hype.